MQ-9 Reaper drone. Speaking of drones, this next invention is one of the most high-tech drones known to man. That's the MQ-9 Reaper drone, and it's reported to only be used by the American military. This drone is like no other. It has a wingspan of 84 feet, weighs 7,000 pounds, and can fly up to 36 hours straight without interruption. Not to mention, the MQ-9 Reaper drone can reach an elevation level of 52,000 feet. It also has the ability to read license plates from up to 2 miles away. Wouldn't want to get caught speeding by this drone. The drone is used mostly for reconnaissance and intelligence purposes, but has the ability to hold up to 500 pounds of bombs in case it is needed to supply air support to the US troops. This drone is truly a wonder of science. Although it's been around since 2001, it still remains one of the strongest tools the US military has in their arsenal. Self-steering bullets, if one can't aim it's highly unlikely they'll thrive in the military. You wouldn't want to risk missing your targets or, even worse, friendly fire. Luckily the self-steering bullet is being developed to ensure that even the most mediocre of mocks men will have the aim of any renowned sniper. How? Well, this 50 caliber bullet is packed with tiny sensors that allows it to track its target, even if they are on the move. This causes the bullet to change courses after being fired and will literally shift mid-air to make sure it meets its intended victim. The exact science of how this works is being kept secret, for obvious reasons, but we do know that a laser system helps guide the bullet alongside with its built-in sensors. This is an absolute game-changer, and could up the efficiency of armed weapons by a huge percentage. Unmanned Submarine Hunter Submarines are quiet and in some cases very deadly. Many countries will use them to lurk under the seas undetected, in an attempt to get close to enemy soil. This is why DARPA has launched plans to unveil the unmanned submarine hunter, equipped with sonar, radar, and other surveillance systems. This submarine will float through the waters, on the lookout for any nefarious activity. It's amazing that they can do all this without requiring an actual crew to be on board, thus eliminating the need for any time-consuming personnel-related tasks. It's like an underwater drone if you think about it. This submarine hunter, which is designed to look like a submarine itself, is built to navigate narrow channels and avoid any obstacles, all autonomously. That's awesome because I, for one, would totally freak out on a submarine. What about you? Would you ride a submarine deep below the surface of the ocean? Let us know in the comments below. Also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any awesome content like this. Military Exoskeleton Now this creation isn't seen on the battlefield yet. The Military Exoskeleton is the idea that can create an armor-like suit for our soldiers protecting them from bullets, debris, and any other dangers they may encounter. Think like Iron Man, or something you may have seen out of a superhero movie. And at the moment, movies are probably the only place you'll get to see these suits in action, at least for the time being. Scientists worry that these exoskeleton suits could potentially pose more harm than good. The power source needed to keep this suit well ventilated could easily become flammable, costing whoever is wearing it their life. Another issue that's being faced is that they've found it's hard to move in these suits, it's even been compared to moving in a pool of jello. If there's one skill you need in combat, that's definitely dexterity, and we can't possibly risk losing that, especially when under attack. Although the military exoskeleton is not a reality just yet, we thought it deserved a mention, as they may become a reality sooner than we think. Laser cannons. Yes, you heard me correctly, laser cannons. It sounds like something straight out of Star Wars. But my friends, this is an actual weapon used by the United States Navy. The purpose of these cannons is to blast away foes from faraway distances. These cannons are mounted onto the tops of vehicles, like tanks for example, allowing whoever is manning the cannons to fire while on the go. It's designed to attack drones and mortar shells, both posing huge possible threats to anyone who may be unfortunate to come into contact with them. The program for the laser cannons is called High Energy Laser Mobile Demonstrator, which can also be abbreviated as HELMD. Not only do laser cannons sound cool, they are also super efficient. These cannons are able to shoot repeatedly at the target for a very low cost. In fact, the only expense for these cannons is what it costs to power the generator that keeps them up and running. That's a huge difference from standard, typical weaponry. I don't know about you, but I definitely want to see one of these in action. Plasma Protection Field I never thought I'd live to see the day where our military could create actual force fields. But here we are, Boeing, an aerospace and defense manufacturer that has military contracts has decided to protect those in battle with a literal force field. How? By creating a wall of ionized air. This plasma protection field would protect nearby soldiers from an incoming blast. Now, there are already anti-blast gear such as Amy's Iron Curtain, but this is absolutely revolutionary. As awesome as this sounds, 
it's not quite ready to be put to the test in an actual war zone. There are a few kinks that still need to be worked out. For example, the plasma protection field is currently unable to protect against incoming projectiles like rocket launched grenades or anti-tank missiles, which, as you can guess, is kind of a big deal. But, I'm sure the team at Boeing are hard at work making sure that they can do everything in their power to protect the military from enemy attacks. And when they do we'll see the plasma protection field being used more and more in combat. Squid invisibility. Someone better call up the army and tell them to throw away their uniforms because a brand new form of camouflage is here. And it is absolutely insane. Current camouflage may be useful when hiding from the human eye. But due to the advancements in technology, Infrared vision systems have rendered them near useless as they are able to detect any life form that is in their way. But, have no fear, scientists at the University of California Irvine are on the case. They've studied the behavior of squids and noticed that they are biologically equipped with a structural protein that allows them to camouflage themselves seamlessly into their surroundings, essentially making them invisible. The scientists plan on extracting this protein from the squid and implementing it into camouflage wear for active service people. They've noticed the protein appropriately named reflecting, has similar properties to that of the wavelengths used in night vision systems. This gives the folks at the University of California Irvine hope that they soon can make our soldiers invisible and gain a one-up while approaching the enemy. Satellite Melter, we've covered land, we've covered sea, but what do you do when military conflict becomes an intergalactic issue? You introduce the Satellite Melter, of course. It's no secret that militaries across the globe make use of satellites to track any potential threat that may come their way. However, if you're planning a strike, this can be quite bothersome. With the satellite melter, they'll soon be able to, you guessed it, melt enemy satellites without thinking twice. It's incredibly simple. The machine just directs a beam of sunlight at the enemy satellite, causing it to melt over a period of time. And the best part is, no one will know. The satellite melter is designed to be inconspicuous and not cause a big explosion that could potentially be seen from down here on Earth. This project is currently being funded by Northrop Grumman and Raytheon and has plans to be unveiled in the near future. So, if you see something come hurtling down at you from above, have no fear. It may just be a satellite that was freshly melted. Anti-drone gun, drone technology, has come so far in recent years that they are even being used for military purposes. However, like any tool of war, the enemy will also have them. Therefore anti-drone guns have been developed to help take down these flying machines. They are huge and almost comical looking, but they are incredibly designed pieces of tech. These guns track incoming drones, lock onto them, and take them down with either a projectile or simply a net. Some guns also have the ability to disrupt the drone's GPS systems, causing them to fly away from their intended targets. That's brilliant. They can even work up to some super long distances. For example, the Skywall 100 anti-drone gun can take out drones that are up to 100 meters away. Talk about range. Many of these drone guns use compressed air, making them not too heavy for our soldiers to hold all day, considering their large size. The previously mentioned Skywall 100 only weighs 22 pounds. Not that much when you see the size of this thing. Ability to adjust is crucial when it comes to military advancements, and the anti-drone gun is a great example of that. Taser Shockwave this next invention is certainly one you don't want to be on the wrong side of. The Taser Shockwave is a large modular system equipped with Taser X-26 stun guns. The purpose, to shock a large area of land and all its inhabitants at once. One unit has a 20 degree arc with a 25 foot attack range, and that's just one. The Taser Shockwaves are built so that they can be connected with other units, allowing the user to inflict damage on a larger scale. When fired, this shockwave will set off multiple Tasers creating a sort of impenetrable force field of electricity, one that I'm sure would hurt a lot. This tool was designed for multiple purposes, one being to control riots in case of a mass violent outburst by the public. It also allows those in the military to restrain multiple enemies at once without having to rely on lethal force. The Taser Shockwave is for sure a weapon that could cause some serious damage. So if you're ever in the presence of these, you should do yourself a favor and run the other way before it goes off.